This is a Rand McNally terrestrial art globe, one of the nicest ones we've ever had. They're pretty rare. And uh, it's on a turned glass base. And this was circa 1939, right sort of at the beginning of the war. And uh, since metal was um, particularly brass and uh, that kind of metal was much more important for the war effort, uh, they started making these lovely glass faces, well, at least Ram McNally did, and this is the, one of the few I've ever seen that was green. Uh, so it's an art glass base, and uh, this was, they had started making these terrestrial art clothes prior to this, and they had uh, a very nice compass rose out in the Pacific Ocean, and it had sailing ships, various styles. There's a Japanese, uh, Chinese junk. Uh, there's an uh, Arab uh, sailboat. Uh, here is a Viking ship, uh, a galleon, etc. But the thing that's of really uh, primary importance about this globe, making it unique, is uh, this is 1939, late 39, and Germany has just taken over Austria. And so the uh, thing that they guaranteed with this globe was that they would, because it's the most expensive one they made, table model, that they would provide patches to put over countries if the name changed. They didn't foresee the war coming, I don't think, but this has... Uh, the uh, has G E R in parenthesis over Austria to show that it has become part of Germany. So this is a very rare, extraordinarily rare, uh, for a 20th century globe. Beautiful one with uh, all kinds of Art Deco items on it on an extraordinary base. I would say it's probably one of the nicest globes of that period I've ever had.